York City. The puck is about to drop on the home ice of the Rangers. It's NHL hockey tonight here on the 2K Sports Network. And tonight we're expecting a great matchup of exhibition hockey. Harry Neal, my partner, will join me, Bob Cole, as we call all the action. The New York Rangers have had their ups and downs, but you can always count on their diehard fans to stand behind them. The Rangers are a team with outstanding goaltending abilities. Makes it really tough to get points against this team, and they'll play the waiting game as a result. Bob, I always like this team's chances. You point out they've got good goaltending, and that's accurate. They also have a veteran team, and I love that combination. There is no question about it. When the goalie can trust his defense core and the defense core can trust their forwards, you're going to win a lot more often than you lose. Here we go it's with the first drop of the puck. Opening period. Fans, get loud for your New York Rangers. The face-off won by the Canucks. Taken into the zone by New York. He shoots. Luongo making it look easy. <laughs> have the one goal lead now here in the first period of hockey. They've got a chance now to expand that lead. They have one goal to lead. Lorenzo saves it. Down one goal, holding his part of the defense to stay in this one. From Malik to Straka, he brings the puck up. And here's a three-on-two opportunity. The long go with the blocker. He made that save. Cook has it at center ice. This is a classic shoulder check. I'm not sure he even saw it coming. It nailed him right to the ice. This is a decent takeout. Remember, he's not trying to hurt his opponent. He just wants to eliminate him from the play. Oh, and here come the Canucks. The puck hits a player and then bounces off the glass. And it'll be icing as the Canucks touch up. The linesman will drop the puck left of the net. The Canucks get the face-off down by one. Malik center ice. Luongo with a pad save. Passes over to the left wing. Sedin skating with it at center. And Vancouver breakaway chance. Boy, I'm not so sure you can hit a guy higher than that. He just got nailed. And he has it at center ice. Pick on the Rangers with a chance. And it was stopped by that right pad. Awesome dig there. From Pyatt over to Sedin. Sedin gets checked at center ice. The Yager in the neutral zone. Oh, and a chance for New York now. Over to Pyatt. Two men back, and the goalie. He controls the puck along the boards. And they're getting there now, two on two. Puck back to the point. Luongo stops it, going low left side. Nothing doing there. Oh, and Sal passes to the defenseman. Pass to blue line. Passes over to the left wing. The puck now goes to center ice. Gomez has control. Here's a two on two. Sowell. Sedin takes the puck through the zone. Sowell from Sedin. Rattle those bones in the neutral zone before he can even get up ahead of steam. That's exactly what he did there. Yager, his shot, missing the net. The puck sent to the defenseman. Sedin brings the puck up through the zone. Under two minutes now in the period. The puck is in the corner. Yager takes the puck through the zone. Under a minute to go. 
Oh, and Salo fires out the pass, but that's up for grabs. And Vancouver breakaway chance. And that will do it for the end of the period. One to nothing. lucky winner of our drawing, you'll receive a 2K sports prize pack. Courtesy of... It's time once again for the Dodge Intermission Report. The first thing I notice is that they are not getting enough good shots. On the bright side, they're only down by a goal, and it could be a lot worse right now. They need to increase the pressure offensively and provide better scoring opportunities for their big-time shooters. The Canucks are coming out for the second period. Knowing they have their work cut out for them, just one goal behind right now, they need to tie this thing up early. Time to drop the puck as we start the second period. And Vancouver wins the draw. He brings the puck past the blue line. Over to Malik from Lundqvist. He's got it through the zone. Straka is pushing it up. The defense has to hurry back. It goes over to the right wing. Bryant with the pretty move. It's a Long pass. And again, he stops it. Taken across the blue line by the Rangers. Younger holds the puck in the corner. He got to his knees to make that play. Sedin sends it up to the center. He's controlling the puck at center ice. This guy's trying to hold his team in there. He sacrificed his body. That's what this is about. A lovely shot play. Triggers the shot from center. Luongo relays the puck back to the defenseman. To Sedin from Sedin. And the Canucks across that line again. From Sedin to Olin, back to the point. Boy, you tell me that this didn't shake him up. He hit him so hard, he knocked him down. Oh, and here come the Rangers. From Straka over to Gomez. Bob, look at the location of the right pad. It was right there to stop this wrist shot. Sedin with it. Here's a three-on-two opportunity. Sends it to the defenseman. Roosevelt takes it up through the zone. Shoots it. Roosevelt misses the shot. Boy, this is a perfect textbook hit. Finish your man, have your feet about shoulder width apart, and then run him over. The Canucks are back a goal now, still trailing after going into the break and coming back for the second period. The game is over. Harry, what do you see going on? They are down by a goal, and they are really scrapping to keep it close. I'm impressed with their overall game plan and effort on defense. If they keep hustling after loose pucks and making key hits like they have been, you can't count them out of this one by any means. He's able to stay on top of it. Puck over to the right wing. Luongo makes the save. His team down a goal right now. Doesn't want to give up another. And now Vancouver with it across the line. Controlling it in the corner to Malik. Malik manages to get it out. Yager holds the puck in the corner. It's passed to the point. Did he have to be fast with his skate? The puck changed directions. I think somebody got a bit of it on the way to the net. To the left wing. Straka holding the puck at center ice. And it'll be icing if the Canucks touch up. The Rangers have just been doing terribly at winning faceoffs tonight. Lundqvist in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. Two minutes left in the period. With the puck at center ice. He feeds it up the right side. And it's picked up by New York. New York back into the zone. The long shot is blocked. Luongo stops it. He got the block already. Luongo covers up and freezes the puck. Yager came away at the end of the season last year with 66 assists. Got to keep your eye on this guy. The referee gets set to drop the puck.
The clock shows just 11 seconds. We've reached the end of the second period, and the score, one to nothing. Skills competition brought to you by 2K Sports. You can win a six-pack 2K Sports game. And now, presented by Dodge, it's time for our Dodge Intermission Report. The first thing I notice is that they are not getting enough good shots. On the bright side, they're only down by a goal, and it could be a lot worse right now. They need to increase the pressure offensively and provide better scoring opportunities for their shooters. Luongo blocks that powerful slap shot. And now the Canucks hit it in the own zone. He passes it to the right wing. Hook gets contact in the neutral zone. He passes it to the left wing. He brings the puck through the zone. He's shoulder checked. He's in the slot. There it is, New York on the move. Blocks it. Oh, what a terrific play. He dropped down to the ice to make that play. Oh, here's Vancouver with a breakaway. Long pass. Stops the shot, and he doesn't want to let go of that one goal lead. Taken into the zone by New York. And the blocker save. Puck the flex away. Money dropping it off at center ice. Pile driver central. And I think it might be the element of surprise. We do not know this guy for big open ice hits. But we're getting to know him. Shot from center ice. And he stops it with a red pack. Along the corner, it's passed to the point. This is a pretty good stick save. Backhanders aren't as hard as forehanders, but you have a tough time reading it as it comes off the blade. That is a good stick save. The long goal sends it to his defenseman. The Canucks have been looking up at their opponents all night long. You never want to have to come from behind if you can help it, but that's what they'll have to do tonight as they've trailed basically the entire game. Hit me now, Harry, with some knowledge. The first thing I notice is that they are not getting enough good shots. On the bright side, they're only down by a goal, and it could be a lot worse right now. They need to increase the pressure offensively and provide better scoring opportunities for their shooters. Here come the Rangers with a chance. He carries it over the blue line. He passes to the defenseman. Over to the right wing. Malik plays it up to the center. Oh, and there they go, the Rangers on the attack. Avery cannot convert the shot attempt. He has it along the boards. Luongo makes a nice pad save. Cook with a puck at center. Oh, and that check has got to be the dodge hit of the game. A big hit in the neutral zone. A bit of a risky play, but he made it count. Oh, and Luongo with a great stop. The shot hit at bottom right. Larson brings the puck up through the zone. Under two minutes now in the period. The goal stick to the rescue. Another Saturday. Avery checks in at center ice. Over to Shanahan. It's fed back to the point. And the buzzer sounds for the end of the third period with a score one to nothing. The next third score. Game wrap up. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's NHL presentation here on the 2K Sports Network. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's broadcast and we hope to see you next time. I'm Bob Cole with Harry Neal. We'll see you later.